The annual Neisner Literary Festival recently took place at various locations around the town, attracting visitors from far and wide. The festival was launched in 2010 by Ling Dobson of Pam Golding Properties and aims to promote South Africa's rich literary heritage. The festival, sponsored by Pam Golding, hopes to expose locals and visitors alike to South Africa's literary talent. It also hopes to stimulate children by encouraging reading and writing. Pam Golding Neisner was looking for a community project and we really thought there's so much being done already on sport, we will do something for the literary educational side. It's such a privilege to be able to interact with authors like we do and to have a one-on-one -on -one with authors. So for all the people in the Nice and Surround area, because we've got people from Port Elizabeth, as far as Mossel Bay, George, that come to the festival, as well as people who actually come down from Johannesburg and Cape Town, for them it's really a literary experience. And I think that is the magic of it. And to have that one-on-one -on -one with authors and South African authors at that, I think is wonderful. The power of getting people behind who can support something like this, like a festival like this, to, get, to, gather, to gather people in the name of, of art and of literature, um, I think is fundamental. And I think that is the future of arts in South Africa. I, I, I don't see how we're going to do it just on local funding and people making a subsistence kind of thing of it. We need more of this, and I think this is a great example. You need sponsors to make this happen. And, and companies should be part of the societies in which they work. And, and I really appreciate seeing their work here. The eight days in September, I'm told, was read by many people who had never read a book, wouldn't worry about reading a book, but ended up reading that particular book. And that tells you a story. Various talks, plays, workshops, debates, and book launches were held at the festival. And with many famous authors involved, many events were sold out. Something like this uh, enables people to come and meet an author and to realize they're just humans like you are and they've made choices that have led them to a certain point. And that if you make certain choices, there's no reason why you shouldn't get to that point either. Well, as Pam Golding, we make very sure that we choose the most awesome selection of authors. And I've got a wonderful coordinator and together we decide on the various genres we want and then go to various publishers and actually see what we can pick and choose from and so far we've really hit the nail on the head we've had a wonderful festival again and there couldn't be a more picture-perfect setting than the beautiful town of Neisner the importance of the Neisner Literary Festival to this town is magnificent it's huge we've got 11 big events happening over three days and the kind of people that come to the festival is the big spenders and it's the kind of people that the Niza lifestyle is all about. We've got Frank Shikani, we've got John van der Reit and we've got Vusi Picoli, we've got all of them coming and it's high powered thinkers and to have them around town really creates a vibe and a hype of intelligence around town. It creates a nice business environment and the kind of people and the kind of venues that's being used during the literary festival really pushes the brand of Neisner and that is why we are involved as Neisner Tourism. Any exposure uh, means a lot. It actually encouraged more people to read. We had a minister, deputy minister in, in government when I was there who used to say, I'm involved in the feel good things. You know, if you are in arts and culture, you're not making money, but you are actually dealing with things that make people feel good. And that's what we need in society. These festivals thrive because South Africans, I think, love the idea of going somewhere beautiful, spending a weekend, soaking up some art, uh, having a good time, eating and drinking well, and going home feeling inspired. And I don't see how you can have a better weekend if you, if you enjoy your art. I think these festivals happen because people like ourselves become involved and want the exposure and want to actually help um, the public around us experience it. Unless we do this for our population, for our people, who else is going to do it? James Bryce once said, the worth of a book is to be measured by what you can carry away from it. And with the magic of this festival, this couldn't be more true. I think wherever there's a gathering in the name of art or literature, theatre or drama, I think you, 
you're never losing. You're only gaining people to the core.